I'm behind Home Depot. I'm not here to buy lumber or nails or tools or carpeting or cabinets or fast forward for about four minutes because I'm going to list everything in Home Depot. No, I'm here to look at this Point Beach. It's a Schwinn Point Beach beach cruiser. That's a good question. Is it a Point Beach cruiser or is it a Point Beach beach cruiser? I don't know. The question on my mind is, did I pay too much for this bike? And if you look at here, on the slick Schwinn seat, there's the price tag. One dollar. Like Bill Bellamy and Don Amici. Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici, they bet a dollar in that movie. To see how those other two guys' lives would turn out. Didn't turn out so well to them until coming to America. Then they got back on their feet. We're back. I'm not talking to you, Mortimer. Now, why would I think that a dollar is too much for this fine specimen? You couldn't even buy this rack for a dollar. Well, first of all, let's check out the brakes. They're all rusty. It's like somebody left it at the beach too long. And they don't really spring back. <laughs> They're stuck. In the front, it's even worse. They're rusty, they're cocked. They just kinda stay there. And let me turn this thing around very carefully. Very carefully. And prop it up against Home Depot's flower rack. And you can see, right here, the headset bearing is just hanging out of the thing. Now, I don't know if that's Schwinn's fault. See, Schwinn. A little bit, uh, a little bit dark over here. Here, I'll put the Schwinn logo in the daylight so we can see it a little bit better. Schwinn. Now, I don't know if that headset bearing is Schwinn's fault, or if it's the fault of an assembler, or if it's the fault of somebody who abused the bike. But either way, it ain't great. Now, the rest of the bike, it has six speeds, and the shifters do work. The brakes don't work. I'm not going to pull the thing because the cable will seize. Big cruiser handlebars, as you can see, unless you can't. The padded Schwinn seat with the race stripe logo. Aluminum tubing, and that's not bad. Although the bike's not that lightweight because it has these big truck tires on it. They're huge. 26 by 2.125. Shimano SIS derailleur in the back, and a nice Schwinn. You know, for a second there, I forgot what this thing is called. Of course, it's a chain guard. It guards the chain, because if your pants get caught in the chain, then it could damage the chain. So it guards the chain against your pants and your leg. And then there are little beach cruiser pedals and classic Schwinn four-leaf clover sprocket, which looks like it was made out of an old TV dinner tray. And of course, that's a dated reference because TV dinner trays, they're made of plastic now, I think, and they're microwavable. But remember the good old days? Swanson with like that little brownie. I don't, we rarely ever ate them. This bike is awesome because it has two really big tubes that tie together the top and bottom tubes, just big aluminum gusset tubes. And then it has one, two, three, four, five, six cable guides, and these sort of race stripey graphic things. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know what W stands for. Shh, woo, in. The front is white which is blowing out the exposure on the camera. 
The rest is red, metallic red, Point Beach. So, I don't know if I got, as they say, rooked by paying a dollar for this Schwinn. It has alloy wheels. Full alloy. I mean, the spokes are stainless, but the hubs are alloy. Rims are alloy. So did I get ripped off? Should I have haggled? I bought this at a garage sale. Should I have said, look, I know you're asking a dollar, but would you take 25 cents? Maybe see if I could get it for four bits. I don't know. I paid the whole dollar. I'm not sure if I regret it. But that is what we call the Schwinn Point Beach Beach Cruiser Bicycle here in front of the flower racks behind Home Depot.